and I'm excited and deeply grateful to be here with you today to share my health journey. My journey started uh, last October, um, so I'm approaching my one-year anniversary. And since that time, I've lost 75 pounds. I've hit a healthy, uh, my healthy goal weight, and I have reduced my risk of diabetes by reducing my A1C levels from uh, a pre-diabetic to a healthy range. I have I've become a certified Optavia coach, and I am working with my family and friends and clients who are amazing people. I'm helping them to get healthy. I'm even working with my mom, who's lost 40 pounds and is running after uh, two grandkids that are under the age of six. And and, and so they're just enormous um, you know, health benefits and physical benefits to this program. But what I wanna focus on today is the uh, mental and the mind shifts that have been really beneficial for me from participating in this program. Because sometimes the most weight that you have to lose is not in your body, but in your mind. And there are two important shifts that happened to me. One is I started making my kids my why and not my excuse. And the second shift that happened for me was that I had to realize that I was lost and I needed to be found. And in terms of my children and making them my why, I had to stop using my kids as an excuse. There are many things that we say to ourselves. We say things like, my kids' schedules are too difficult for me to prioritize my health. We say we can't afford to uh, pay for something dealing with our health because we have to pay for something for our kids. We even use the baby weight from 10 years ago as an excuse um, for why we can't get healthy. But I had stopped um, using those excuses and started to see signs of inspiration and, uh, you know, and, and hope. Uh, I had a friend uh, who introduced me to the program, Monique, thank you. And she had achieved her healthy go weight and started helping other people. So I joined the journey with her and immediately got in touch with my why. And so my why became, um, I want my children to see the healthiest version of myself. I want them to see me set a goal, get into action and achieve it. I, I want them to, I want to run 5Ks with them and occasionally beat them. I want to play basketball with them. I want to uh, be the party mom in the annual Nutcracker um, performance because I can fit into the costume. And, you know, and all those things I've been able to achieve. But the most important why for me is that I want to be a mom who is strong and who is non-sick as long as possible. So that if God willing, that if I live until old age, I'm less of a burden on them too as I get older because I've taken great care of myself. And I want to turn to the second point that I wanted to make, which was about, you know, being lost and needing to be found. You know, I, I had lost myself in the identity of all the things that mid 40 year old full time working moms and wives do, you know, the juggle between career and home and trying to be everything to everybody and prioritizing everybody else. And along the way, I have lost myself in all of that. And I had accumulated weight and mental clay um, that was robbing me of my energy and my confidence and for me of, of living the fullest life. And so I would have to say being on a client on this program and also coaching on this program has really um, helped me to get back to who I really am and become a better version of myself. I am, I've even formed a, a new identity as a health coach, and that keeps me accountable in my own health journey. And I also get to serve my community in a way that I never imagined. I'm a community person. I tend to work in education and in workforce issues. I never thought I would be working in health and helping my, my community uh, to get healthier. And I am just excited about the future, and I'm so happy to be here with you today. And I just challenge you that if you want to become the that, that healthier version of yourself um, to reach out to the person who invited you today. Thank you so much. Oh, that's good. Uh, golly. 